Hello everyone, this is your Katna here. So in this video, we are going to see some problems on variable and separable from differential equations. So here is the problem. Solve secant square x into tan y dx plus secant square y into tan x dy equals to 0. So we are given a differential equation. So here you are having dx in the first term and dy in the second term. So what we are going to do is we'll collect all the functions of x here and all the functions of y here. Okay. So in order to collect the functions of x in the first term and functions of y in the second term, we need to remove y term that is tan y from the first term and tan x from the second term. Okay. So let's see. Solution given differential equation is secant square x into tan y dx plus secant square y into tan x dx equals to 0. So we have to eliminate tan y from the first term and tan x from the second term. So in order to eliminate these two terms, what we'll do? Simply dividing by tan x into tan y on both sides. We'll divide the whole equation with tan x and tan y. Let's see what get, what we get. Secant square x into tan y divided by tan x into tan y into dx plus secant square y into tan x divided by tan x into tan y to dy equals to 0. So we got something which we need. So you'll cancel tan y. Here you'll cancel tan x. So we got the required one. So this becomes secant square x y tan x. After cancelling tan y into dx plus after cancelling tan x you'll get secant square y by tan y into dy. So we are having functions of x into dx plus functions of y into dy. This is called variable separable. Variables are separable. x terms in one, one side. Mm, we have written everything in the left hand side, right? And we have all the y terms in second term, right? First, we are having the x and second, we are having the y, okay? So, you can't see any y term here and you can't see any x term here, right? So, now what we are going to do? We are going to integrate it. Integrating. So, integral secant square x by tan x into dx plus integral secant square y by tan y into dy equals to 
arbitrary constant c okay so now we are going to use a formula to solve this problem okay since integral f dash of x y f of x into dx is equals to log mod f of x plus c. Okay. If you consider tan x as f of x, we will have f of x equals to tan x and f dash of x equals to what is the derivative of tan x? Secant square x. Right? So now, if you'll apply this in the formula, you'll get integral f dash of x is secant square x divided by f of x tan x into dx equals to log mod tan x according to the formula. So, this becomes log mod tan x plus if this is an x the same thing we have in y so we'll have log mod tan y which is equals to constant c since we know that log a plus log b is equals to log a b okay since you're having all the terms in log so you can write this constant c as log c so this becomes log mod tan x into tan y which is equals to log c. So finally you will get tan x into tan y equals to c which is the solution. Okay. So mod tan x into tan y equals to c is a general solution for the given differential equation. This is a general solution of the given differential equation. So this completes the problem. So coming to second one. Second problem. Solve dy by dx equals to e power x minus y plus plus x square into e power minus y. Okay. So this is of the form dy by dx equals to f of x comma y. Solution. Given differential equation is dy by dx equals to e power x minus y plus x square into e power minus y. So you can write it as dy by dx is equals to, now we are going to split it into two terms, e power x into e power minus y 
plus x square into e power minus y. So this becomes dy by dx equals to. Since you are having e power minus one minus y in the both the terms, so we'll take e power minus y as common. Then we'll get e power minus y into e power x plus x square. Okay. So this is function of x and this is function of y. So here we are going to use variable separable method. So you will collect all the functions of x and dx in one side and all the functions of y and dy on the other side. Since you are having dy in the LHS part, if you consider the LHS part, you are having dy on the numerator. So you will take f of y to left hand side. So this implies 1 by e power y into dy equals to since dx is in the denominator. So you have to take it to the right hand side. e power x plus x square into dx. Okay. So 1 by e power minus x is equals to e power x. So you will get 1 by e power minus y equals to e power y. So now we will replace 1 by e power minus y with e power y into dy. Okay. So how we can write it? Actually, 1 by 1 by e power y. e power minus x can be written as 1 by e power x. So, if you replace e power minus y with 1 by e power y, you will get 1 by 1 by e power y, which is e power y. e power y into dy equals to e power x plus x squared into dx. Now, by integrating on both sides, we get integral e power y dy equals to integral e power x plus x squared into dx plus arbitrary constant c. Okay. Since integral a power x dx is equals to e power ax by a or, or e power x dx is equals to simply e power x. Okay. And also we have Integral x power n dx is equals to x power n plus 1 by n plus 1. So, we will use this formulas, these formulas to solve this integral. Which becomes e power y. Integral e power x is e power x. So, e power y dy will be e power y equals to integral e power x dx is e power x plus integral x square. Integral x square dx is equals to, now use the formula, substitute n equals to 2. Then you will get x power 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 which is equals to x cube by 3. Okay, so integral x square dx is x cube by 3 plus c or else you can write x power 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 plus c instead of writing directly. So this implies 
e power y equals to e power x plus x cube by 3 plus c. This is the general solution of the given differential equation. Okay. So this completes the problem. So we have seen few problems on variable and separable in this video. Hope you will understand. If you have any doubts, just leave your comments below. See you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.